Defending Sun Belt champions, the Troy Trojans have one more game this season. They face Duke in the Birmingham Bowl in a little over two weeks. Joining us live over Zoom is Athletics Director Brent Jones. Brent, first let's go back to Saturday when Troy secured its 10th straight win. What was that feeling on the field? It was simply incredible to be able to have confetti falling from the sky, to be able to have the goalposts coming down, to be able to win uh, a Sunbelt Conference Championship back-to-back -back years, to still have an amazing crowd. And, and by the way, we received about two inches of rain during the game. It did not deter our fans. Trojan Nation showed up loud and proud. We had uh, one of our best student crowds that we've had. Uh, the, uh, our students rushed the, the, the field. It was simply incredible. What we were able to do this year as well as last year just shows you the power of uh, of Troy University, Troy University football, to be able to put our best foot forward on national TV. Only 10 games were on Saturday at all, uh, and we were on ESPN. It, it was simply incredible to be able to have that victory, that championship, come back to uh, the Wiregrass and the River region. You're riding high right now. I saw you post that you don't mind paying for those new goalposts that the fans took down to celebrate. Absolutely. Look, uh, last year uh, was the first year that we've had a goalpost come down in, in a while. And, uh, you know, we were expecting, hopefully, if we won this game for it to happen. I think our students have been practicing. Last year, it took about uh, maybe seven minutes for the goalpost to come down. This year, it came down within 30 seconds. Uh, wow. What was just really uh, great to see is uh, as we as we progressed later in the game in the fourth quarter, uh, our students started making their way toward uh, the end zone so they could jump onto the field safely uh, and then be able to take down the end zone or take down the goalpost. So, yes, look, this is, this is you know, intercollegiate collegiate athletics stirs emotions and passions run deep and at Troy University athletics uh, passion is part of it Chancellor Hawkins and his visionary leadership not just of athletics but of this university has put us on a tremendous um, uh, momentum and trajectory and so we're so appreciative of being able to, to be the Sunbelt Conference Championships back-to-back -back years and now our focus is really set on having a great experience and a great game at the Birmingham Bowl. You have a tremendous fan base right there. They're very loyal and they will not have to travel far for the game. You're looking for a good crowd December 23rd in the Magic City. I will tell you what, to be able to get a top tier bowl as the Birmingham Bowl, which traditionally has an SEC team uh, in it, for us to be able to be in the Birmingham Bowl two and a half hours away in the state of Alabama. Uh, Birmingham is considered to be a, a top five city, major city for intercollegiate athletics and college football. Uh, just with the media uh, saturation there, it, it's, it's great. A lot of our student athletes are from Alabama uh, as well as the South, so their families and, and friends uh, and parents are going to be able to travel. I know. Trojan Nation is going to show up loud as well. And so our ticket sales are going extremely strong, better than we've ever had for any other bowl. We're going to continue to, to work hard over these next two and a half weeks. We're going to put together different timelines and events that we're going to have. We're going to have a pep rally on Friday. We're going to take over a certain area right now that we're working on. And so those are to be released uh, hopefully later this week. But our fans, this is the, this is the key. Uh, we receive ticket revenue. This is the only way that we can recoup our costs from the bowl. You need to purchase your ticket through us. It's TroyTrojans.com backslash tickets. You can go purchase them through us. We get credit for it, but it's an amazing bowl. And also, this is for us to be able to play Duke out of the ACC. This is the first time that a Sunbelt Conference team has played a Power 5 opponent in a bowl game. And as to that, we are one of only three schools this year that is playing a Power 5 opponent. So it's going to be a great time. It's on a Saturday, December 23rd, uh, 11 a.m. We're going to have amazing events going on, and we're really hoping to do a Trojan takeover in Birmingham. I think tickets would be a great early Christmas present. What do you think? Absolutely. I, I had a phone call last night with a, a great fan and friend that wanted to purchase 100 tickets oh, wow. uh, for their employees. And so that's simply incredible to really showcase this. And so obviously us being down here in the river region, as well as the Wiregrass, this is a great opportunity for us to head up north uh, two and a half, three hours away and really expand our brand, not just of football, not just of the athletic department, but of this amazing university. Chancellor Hawkins uh, and his leadership, it's simply incredible you, what you're able to see 
uh, Troy University do. Look, we're known as having uh, Troy University as having the most beautiful campus uh, in the state of Alabama. We've been ranked that as well as uh, Alabama's International University. And so we're excited to be able to make that trek up to Birmingham. I encourage everybody to get their tickets soon. Uh, TroyTrojans.com backslash uh, tickets. You can do that. We're sending our band. We're sending our cheerleaders. We're going to have a pregame alumni tailgate. We're going to take over Dread River Distillery Friday night prior to the game uh, from 7 to 10 p.m. It'll be a pep rally prior to it. We're going to have a Trojan wall to send us off in style on Saturday prior to the game. So we put a lot of work over the last two days to get this. Again, we're really excited about Birmingham, and I know our fans are too. And Chancellor Hawkins gave the team an early Christmas gift, that indoor practice facility. That's pretty nice. A $10 million commitment from the university and Chancellor Hawkins. And again, we talk about his, I talk about his visionary leadership and his support. The alignment that we have here with Chancellor Hawkins, myself, Coach Summerall, all of our coaches, our student athletes, our board of trustees, it's simply incredible. And so for, for Chancellor Hawkins to be able to come over on Sunday to announce the bowl game, the bowl destination of where we're going, as well as the indoor practice facility, the commitment that we continue to make to our student athletes, to our program is simply incredible. And I'm so appreciative and thankful that I get to work for the best uh, CEO and the best chancellor in the nation. It's a great time to be a Trojan. Brent, thank you so much for joining us. It always is. Thanks so much.